Yo, what's good, guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So this one's a crazy one. This one is definitely a crazy one, and I hope you all enjoy it. Um, leave a like on the video if you do. And there's really not much else to say. I should probably just jump into this, so let's get into it. So today's story time uh, all takes place back in 2014. Now, in 2014, I was, uh, you know, kind of at a weird point in my life. You know, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I mean, I was a kid. Most kids don't. But, you know, like, I didn't have any plans, really. You know, I didn't know what I wanted to do for a living when I grew up. I didn't know what I wanted to go to college for. And because of that, it kind of affected the way I did my schoolwork. Um, you know, I wasn't really getting into a lot of trouble at this point. I was just kind of, like, not doing my work because I was so like unmotivated and um, confused about what I want to do with my life. So I just kind of figured, well, I'm not going to try. And that's not really a good mindset to have at all. So don't do that. Um, but I was getting called into my principal's office a lot at this time. Pretty much every time a quarter would end and the grades would come back um, and report cards would go out, I would always get called to the main office. And my principal would be like, Austin, you got to get your grades up. You got to get your grades up. You're going to fail. You're going to fail. All this stuff, right? Now, the thing about my principal at the time, I didn't like that principle very much. Now you're probably wondering, Austin, why didn't you like that principle? Like, what did he ever do to you? He was crazy. And when I say that, like, this dude would talk a million fucking miles a minute, like, just wouldn't slow down. He was always really angry and, like, super moody. Like, there'd be times where I'd go in there and he, this is what he would sound like. He'd be like, Austin, Austin, I, I got to talk to you, okay? You know why I called you in there? And I'd be like about to talk and he'd interrupt me and be like, well, I'll tell you why I called you in here. Okay. Your grades are bad. Not just bad. Horrible. He talked like fucking Ben Shapiro mixed with like Eminem and fucking rap. God, the dude was always just going crazy with the words. Like if he was a rapper, he'd probably hold the world record for fastest verse. Right. So I didn't like talking to him because he'd interrupt me, yell at me. And like, also, like I said, he would get moody. Like there'd be times where I'd come in there. And he would be like, Austin, your grades are slipping. You got to do better. You got to do better. Like, come on, your, your grades are slipping. And then there'd be other times where I'd go in and he'd be like, Austin, your grades, they're terrible. They're, 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 they're like freaking out, right? Like yelling. And then there'd be other times where I'd go in there and he'd be like, I completely understand. Like, you just got to do a little bit better. That's all. That's all. Like, just fucking super unpredictable. There'd just be days where he was happy, days where he was super angry. And I never knew why. And a rumor got started. I'm not going to say who started it. It was me. I started the rumor, okay? But I didn't mean to, all right? I just made a joke one day at lunch in 2014, and I said, I think the principal's on cocaine. It was a joke, okay? I didn't even mean it. it. He just had such a crazy mind, and the way he would talk, it was always so fast. So I made a joke. I was like, oh, he's on coke. And for some reason, it started to get around. Like, people started talking, and I blame the fucking people at the lunch table that I was sitting at, and I blame myself, but them too, because they started going around, telling all of our mutual friends, telling everybody they had classes with, that the principal is probably on coke, and the reason they know is because Austin's been having all these meetings with him, and he has a big feeling about it, and uh, people start taking their word for it, and I start getting people coming up to me being like, yo, so like, did you see the principal like do coke or something? And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? They were like, oh, well, we heard through this guy that you saw him or like you knew something. And I was like, no, like it was just a joke. Anyway, word starts spreading quick, right? Like within two weeks, a lot of people at my school are saying it. Some people are saying it as a joke. Other people are saying it like full serious, right? And sure enough, one day I walk into school. I get to my first period class. I sit down and an announcement comes on. The announcement comes on and it says, Austin to the main office. And I'm thinking to myself, fuck, like what now? So I go up to the main office. I sit down with my principal. He looks pissed. And I was confused. I genuinely didn't know why I was there. Like report cards hadn't gone out yet. Usually that's why I'd get called up there. But you know, those don't go out yet. So I didn't know why I was there. And he goes, Austin, do you know why I called you up here today? And I was like, nope. He goes, well, I'll tell you why. Okay. I'm hearing rumors all around the school and all around the faculty and the staff that I'm a, apparently a cocaine addict. Huh? Would you know something about that? And I literally had to like repeat what he said in my head nine times because he just spoke so fucking fast. And I was like, um, no, I'm sorry. He's like, really, huh? Because I heard through another student that the reason that this rumor is going around is because you have proof. Well, where's the proof, Austin? Huh? Where's the proof that I do cocaine? And I was like, I never said that. I was like, listen, you want the truth? And he's like, yeah, I do want the truth. And being honest, that is just wildly inappropriate for you to spread that rumor about me. And I was like, listen. 
let me talk. Let me finish a sentence and you will know why that this is happening, okay? So just chill for a sec. He's like, okay, I'll chill for a sec. And I was like, listen, you talk really fast. You're very, very like hyper all the time or you're really, really angry. And I get that people shouldn't assume things. But all I was doing was making a joke. And then, of course, he interrupts me. And he's like, well, you know, that's not funny. A joke is supposed to be funny. And you're going around telling people that I'm doing a hard drug and I'm not doing hard drugs and this, this, and that. And he's just going off again, right? And I was like, do you see what I'm saying? You're interrupting me all the time. I never get to share my side. Let me talk. He goes, fine. Let me know when you're done. I'm like, thank you. Listen, you just, you speak really fast. You're very hyper. You have a lot of different mood swings. And... After one of our meetings one day, I was in the cafeteria at lunch with my friends at my table, and I just made a really stupid joke. I was like, hey, I think our principal's on cocaine because he talks super fast and he's all over the place sometimes, but I did not think it would go beyond my lunch table. All of my friends started going around telling people that like I knew you were doing coke and all this stuff that was not true that I did not say, and I'm sorry because I did not mean for it to do that. And honestly, I shouldn't have made the joke to begin with. I'm sorry. And I was because I felt bad. I didn't want it to be like this huge thing. And he goes, are you done? I was like, yes, I'm done. He goes, okay, well, here's what's going to happen. One week after school detention every day with me and lunch detention. And I was like, really? He's like, yep. And I'm like, fine. So I had to go to lunch detention every day and after school detention. In my opinion, kind of a really harsh punishment for what I did, but whatever. Now, listen, the story does not end there, okay? We're just getting started. The story really takes a turn about three months later, okay? So, three months later, I wake up, I take a shower, I get ready for school, and after I put my hoodie on and I was about to walk out the door, I grab my phone off the charger, and I hadn't checked it yet, right? Like, all morning, I had not checked my phone. And I have four missed calls and ten text messages from different people, Keep in mind, it's like 6 in the morning. I never had this many people hitting me up at 6 a.m. And one of the people that hit me up, let's just call him Dakota, my friend Dakota, he texted me twice and called me. And the first text said, yo. The second one said, call me back ASAP. And um, I didn't read the other text messages from the other people yet. I just called him back immediately. Um, Honestly, I assumed that something happened at the school. I thought that like maybe like we got off for the day. Like maybe there was a snow day. Maybe the heater broke at school. Like I thought something happened. That's why everyone was texting me to like make plans or something. But I called Dakota back. Right. And he answers like with the biggest excitement in his voice. He's like, yo, what's good, dude? And I was like, what's up, man? Like you called? Like what's going on? I got a bunch of calls and texts. Like I haven't even read through them yet. He's like, bro, do you know what happened? I was like, no, what happened? I'm assuming it's good news because you sound really excited. He goes, oh, dude, it's hilarious. Now I'm thinking I'm about to get like the funniest, most like insane news of my life, right? And I'm like, well, tell me. He goes, bro, you were right. And I was like, I, I was right about what? He goes, the principal, you were right. And I was like, what does that mean? He goes, dude. He got arrested this morning for possession of cocaine. And immediately I'm like, shut the fuck up. You're lying. He goes, dude, no, seriously, like go look. And he sends me a text of a link to an article. And sure enough, my principal got arrested that morning because he got caught at the school doing coke in his car. And I was like, oh, my fuck. Now, after this, I put the phone on speaker and I was going through like my phone, like text messages and like everyone was texting me just saying you were right. Like I was some fucking psychic when in reality, I just made a stupid joke and it really was true. I didn't know. Like, I really just thought it was a joke. Anyway, it doesn't end there. Okay. So I go to school that morning and I walk in and everyone's coming up to me. They're like, dude, you're a fucking psychic. Dude, how'd you know? Like, you, you must have saw something. I'm like, dude, no. Like, I just made a joke and y'all just took it too far. Like, I didn't know. And uh, I go to my first period class, which was my math class. And I sit down and I had an assigned seat right in the front. So I sit down like right in front of the teacher. And she comes up to the table that I'm sitting at. And she goes, I bet you're happy, aren't you? And I was like, what? She goes, the principal, bet you're real happy about that. And I was like, what? What are you saying to me right now? Why would I be happy about this? She's like, your little rumor you started, bet you're real happy it's true. 
I was like, what the hell? Did everyone hear about this? Like, what, the teachers were talking about it too? I was like, listen, why would it make me happy that a man is addicted to hard drugs and sitting in a prison cell? None of that makes me happy. Also, why are you worried about what a teenager has been saying versus the fact that your boss had an illegal substance on school grounds and was snorting it in his car before school, probably doing it at school every day too? How about we worry about that instead of what a student's doing? And she did not like that at all because I fucking said facts, okay? I set her ass straight and she was super mad about it. And she was like, oh yeah, you think you're clever, Austin? How about I send you up to the main office, huh? How about that? Now, what I said next, I probably should have refrained from saying, but <sighs> I said, why? What's that going to do? There's no one there to yell at me. Is the principal going to call in from jail and yell at me? And the whole class laughed. And I felt kind of bad. I can't lie. And the teacher goes, go up to the main office. The vice principal will deal with you. So I went up there. I sat down with my vice principal. I told her everything that was said. And she actually sided with me. She was like, I think it's ridiculous that your teacher said that to you. I'm going to have a talk with her about that. That's just wildly inappropriate. And I was like, thank you. And she goes, but what you said was also not good. Don't say stuff like that. Come on. I was like, okay. So after that, they sent me back down to class. I didn't get any detention or anything. I was all good. And the rest of that day, I just had people coming up to me acting like I was some psychic, when in reality, I just made a joke that ended up being true. But anyway, guys, if you want to know what happened to Mr. Principal, he ended up getting out not long after. I think he bailed out like the same day or the day after. Um, and he got some charges. I don't know exactly what he got. You could probably guess. But he didn't get like put in jail for life or anything. I think he just had to pay a bunch of fines and all that shit. However, he couldn't work at the school anymore because I think you can't work at a school if you have drug charges, rightfully so. So yeah, he did get fired from our school and I don't think he works at schools anymore. I think he's doing something else nowadays. But um, moral of the story is don't bring drugs to school. That's not okay. Don't do hard drugs either. That's not okay either. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace. Escape it. I've been going through it.